For the past two videos, we've been RVing in big cities, first Philadelphia, then New York. Liberty Harbor here was about $107 a night, which is a little on the high end as far as RV parks go, but hey, you're minutes away from Manhattan. So if you want to visit New York with an RV, it is certainly the way to go. Today the weather is not cooperating, and driving in this area here around Jersey City with a big rig, not for the faint of heart. I don't know why the GPS keeps taking me through these narrow streets. Maybe because I selected avoid the tolls? Hmm. Anyways, today we are going to do a little more traditional camping as we're going to explore the great state of Maine. Just scratching the surface though. As you probably know from the previous videos in this series, because of my breakdown in North Carolina, the trip has been severely cut short. In any case, first we have to get there and it's gonna be a long and tedious drive. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV wherever I want to be. Cause I'm free in my RV yeah. I waited until we reached New York to put gas. Somehow, I don't feel comfortable having someone else bumping my gas. New Jersey and to some extent Oregon are still the only two states where you are not allowed to pump your own gas because apparently the operation requires a highly trained professional. It looks like Florence finally caught up with us. The rain is relentless. I mean, I, I haven't driven in this heavy rain for this long, in a long time. We're gonna stop at the Connecticut uh, State Line and, um, and reassess our tra travel plans because this is not fun. I'm riding. Riding in my RV Wherever I want to be And guys, I'm free In my RV Welcome to Connecticut Here we are, Connecticut A new state for us So let's go into the Welcome Center Get a map, maybe, and cook some lunch Oh, it is starting to rain again Closed. I guess it is time for a Traveling Robert RV cooking show. We begin by chopping some onions. We saute them and put some salt. I also got this red pepper. We add some dry golden wine, a staple in Cuban cuisine, by the way. Some frozen meatballs. And I think I forgot to show you when I added the tomato sauce. And uh, for some reason, with this Atwood range, things take forever to boil. Paprika. Lots of paprika. A little more pepper. Black pepper. Since we don't have any real garlic, we're gonna, gonna put a little bit of garlic powder. And of course, my signature ingredients, oregano and cumin. As soon as this begins to boil. It's not the most powerful stove, I'll tell you that. Well, the penne never properly boiled, but we'll see. Mm. Bon appetit. In this rainy day. The rain is relentless, and these are, as I said, remnants of Hurricane Florence that finally caught up to us. And there is heavy traffic, of course, because all this bad weather usually provokes accidents. Yeah, it is a mess out here.
And there's the cause of all this traffic, hopefully nothing major. Very serious about lane usage here in Connecticut. And this is Waterbury, Connecticut. The church is St. Anne's historic building here. Unfortunately, we can't stop anywhere if we want to make it to Maine today. About half an hour later, we are driving through Hartford, Connecticut's capital. And uh, there's the Capitol building. The Capitol building does have a castle vibe to it, doesn't it? Aside from the golden cupola. Boston and Providence can't wait to visit both in a couple of days. And we are now in Massachusetts and all of a sudden the sun came out and we see incipient fall colors here in mid-September. Welcome to New Hampshire. Yes, eventually we make it to the live free or die state and I see an opportunity to take a picture with the sign so that's exactly what we're going to do. New Hampshire is only about 20 miles wide around here, so very soon we are going to be in Maine. As soon as we cross the Piscataqua River, we are in Maine. Welcome to Maine. Let's take a picture here too. And here we are, our campground for tonight here near Portland, Maine. It is called Wild Duck Adult Campground and RV Park. Okay, let's park it and go have dinner. I hear they have pretty good lobster around here. It was a dark and a foggy night in Maine. Anyways, I had this place here marked on my map called Lobster Shack at Two Lights here in Cape Elizabeth. So let's see how it is. Let's check it out. Here are the live lobsters and uh, our lobster rolls. Let's just say I wasn't all that impressed. Let's walk outside here to this area by the water. I bet you during the day there is a very nice view here. And uh, perhaps it is one of those places more famous for the view than the food. Perhaps it is late and they were about to close. We'll never know. Let's go into Portland real quick to get some groceries. And tomorrow, tomorrow we'll continue exploring. There is a Trader Joe's here in town. to Maine finally I've been really looking forward to this so I think I believe we have some stickers to add to our map here in the Northeast area uh, first and foremost a couple of days ago I forgot to add Pennsylvania as we were in uh, in Philadelphia so let's do that okay with Connecticut I'm kind of gonna cheat because we didn't do anything in Connecticut but we ate at the at the welcome center so I don't know if that counts but I'm gonna add the sticker because why not? And and we saw the capital Hartford from the road. Okay, there we've got Connecticut, and now since we're here, we're gonna add Maine. Here we go. Yeah. 
Now in a couple of days here we're gonna add Massachusetts and Rhode Island and unfortunately on this trip uh, we're not gonna be able to add uh, Vermont or New Hampshire or Maryland or Delaware for that matter and those states were in the original plan but as you know if you've seen the previous videos um, this trip got cut really really short anyways we're tired uh, I think tomorrow we're gonna go to Acadia National Park well, good morning we're at the wild duck campground here uh, near La near Portland Maine and I'm st still half asleep but it's beautiful out here We're staying at this uh, place, it's called the Wild Duck Adult uh, Campground, which, which basically means it's only adults, no, uh, no children here. And um, this is the furthest north uh, Minitini the trailer has ever made it. We only have time for one thing here in the Portland area, so we are going to go see the lighthouse. And why the rush, you might ask? Well, now that I've driven all the way up here, I want to see Bar Harbor and Acadia National Park. You know, I have to return Big White the monster truck in about a week in Miami. And we still have to go to Boston after this. So let's just uh, see the lighthouse, hitch up and continue the journey north. Anyways, here we are, the Portland Head Lighthouse. The views here are starting to look promising, so let's find parking. We get our first look at the rugged main coastline here and the lighthouse, of course. The lighthouse here, still operational by the way, dates back to 1791, making it the oldest one in the whole state of Maine. The other lighthouse, called Ram Island Ledge Light Station, marks the northern end of the main channel. The main channel leading to Portland's harbor. And here's uh, Portland's head again. Let's walk around uh, a little bit. I am assuming that is part of Portland over there in the distance. If you notice, everybody's wearing jackets. It is kind of chilly up here, our first taste of the upcoming fall. Are these the foghorns? Hmm, pretty cool! Time's up! If you ever come to this campground, beware, there's a really deep bump on the road. It looks like the leaves are about to start turning in this area.
Eventually, by the town of Gardiner, we get off the interstate in favor of more secondary roads, and also in order to avoid tolls. It is a little bit of a roller coaster ride the rest of the way. A little more fun than the interstate, if a little tiresome after a while. Here's Belfast, Maine. Let's drive around to see what it looks like before we continue. As we leave Belfast, Maine, it is time to take a break. And there is a state park nearby called Moose Point. And I don't know how much it is, but we're gonna stop there anyways uh, for an hour or so. Four dollars per person for non-main residents, so eight dollars for us. A little steep for just an hour, but I need a break. Here we are, Upper Penobscot Bay. Someone's been getting artistic with all these rocks here. A very pretty, very different landscape up here in Maine. See how Minitini is sort of off-level? This truck is just too high, even adjusting the hitch to its lowest setting. But you know what? It is all I've got for now. Nice ocean front property, huh? Well, took my break. It is time to continue. We're about to cross the iconic Penobscot Narrows Bridge. One of the towers even has an observatory at the top. Hmm, rainy weather up ahead. Must be getting close, lots of traffic, lots of places selling lobster. Here's our campground, Mount Desert, which is pretty rustic. In fact, they don't even allow RVs over 20 feet long. Let's find our site and rest, because tomorrow, tomorrow we are going to wake up way before dawn to try and see the first sunrise in the United States from Cadillac Mountain in Acadia National Park. Mm -hmm. 
Well, here we are at our campground. Very close to Acadia National Park. We got some wood. Very nice. It is around 3 a.m. And it's really dark out here. Why have we woken up at this ungodly hour, you might ask? Well, as I said, we want to drive to the top of Cadillac Mountain to see the first, well, allegedly the first sunrise in the United States. Its high altitude here in the Northeast makes it a prime location for this. And I think we came too early. By the way, the reason we came so early is I hear the parking lot usually gets full and when that happens, they don't let you come to the top of the mountain. The outlook looks grim with all this fog, but let me walk around and see what we're up against. Beautiful view, huh? I really feel sorry for this guy with the tripod and the nice camera. And all of us, really, who woke up early. I mean, it's beautiful fog and it's really eerie, but it's just not what we came to see, right? Sad part is everybody woke up early. And no one is going to be able to see anything. I don't think. Sunrise is imminent. Let me go back. I'll be honest, it does not look promising. But, you know, sunrise is supposed to be like in five minutes. Maybe all these clouds will lift up and, and we'll be able to see it. But as I said, it does not look promising. I'm still gonna play my sunrise music because why not? That was an epic fail. The sun should be coming up right now. and well, Maybe we'll come back later. <laughs> maybe we'll come back tomorrow morning. <laughs> you know, we're still here, so... <sighs> it's cold. Well, I think we should go. Okay, so far Maine is an interesting state with all these cool looking rocks, but I don't know. Mother Nature is not cooperating. Wait a minute, I see something here on the right, some islands perhaps? And it looks like the fog is starting to clear up a little. Maybe this is the view everybody talks about. Yay, found parking! Here's the famous view of the Mount Desert Narrows with all the islands, well, at least 50% of it, as the fog begins to lift. And there's Big White. Here we are, 
Bar Harbor. Let's walk around and look for some breakfast or brunch, preferably with some lobster in it. Uh, greetings from Bar Harbor, Maine. Well, here we are, very picturesque town so far. Check out this fountain here at Agamont Park. Some mimosas here to start at this place. Hmm, and a lobster benedict sandwich. It is called Stadium Pub and it was outstanding. IV Manor Inn. The town seems to be slowly waking up. We're gonna pass by the National Park Office because Acadia is so fragmented that it is impossible for them to have a gate at the entrance to charge admission. So what you do is you buy a pass here for your vehicle at the office here in Bar Harbor. And if you have the America the Beautiful annual pass like we do, they just give you a holder that you hang on your rear view mirror and you put your card in there and you're good to go. This here is the Bar Island Path, only accessible during low tide, which obviously it's not now. And you can actually walk to that island. Maybe we'll come back later when it is low tide. Uh, compare. By the way, very touristy around here with a bunch of boats where you can go whale watching and all that stuff. Well, Let's go explore Acadia National Park. There is supposed to be this park loop road. This is the Otter Cliff Overlook. Initially, I thought that that was like a whale or some other large animal, but apparently it's just something underwater like rocks that break the waves. Very interesting, granite rock formations everywhere. There's a small trail here where you can experience all this. Actually, it is part of a much longer trail called the Ocean Path. Okay, let me go back. I don't think I want to do the whole trail today, although it is tempting. It is very beautiful out here for sure. And I just can't get over those layered rocks. When I get old, I want to be like that. Let's go back up. Anyways, let's continue towards the next outlook point. Check out the small fishing boat fighting the strong current. Other point. Other clips. Sure access. Once again, we see all these very interesting looking rocks here in Maine, all this eroded granite the result of a long, continuous geological process. And check out all those birds. I'm going to walk a little bit here on the ocean path and admire the rugged landscape.
We continue, but let's check this place out. It is called Otter Cove. It is very pretty out here. I wish I could see it when the leaves are turning. Perhaps next year. Here's looking towards the ocean. And here's looking towards the cove. And I also wish I could fly the drone around, but hey, as you probably know, it is forbidden to fly in any national park. We stop once again to admire the rugged coastline. Okay, one last stop. Yet another overlook. We're gonna go back to the campground, take a break, and then we'll continue exploring. Well, we stop one last time here to see Eagle Lake. Wait a minute, why are we leaving, you might ask? Well, when we arrived, there was a note on our picnic table, so we went to the office, and they told us that we had to move to a different site, because this site was reserved for someone else, even though they had assigned me this site when we arrived yesterday. So I said, you know what? I want my money back. We are leaving. So we are. It would have been such a hassle to break camp and move around with this big truck in such a narrow road. Besides, we were leaving tomorrow anyways. Wait for it. Wait for it. Boom! I just broke my sewer cap. There was this root on the ground on the side of the road and this big white truck doesn't have a wide enough turning radius, so I hit it. Let's head down to Boston. We will have to revisit Maine some other time because this time it wasn't so great, was it? Uh, there wasn't enough time, for sure. The weather did not cooperate for sunrise and the Mount Desert campground here really dropped the ball and they weren't even apologetic about it. Next time I think we're staying at the KOA. What we missed? Well, in the afternoon I was planning on going back to Cadillac Mountain and go have a good lobster dinner, and wait for low tide to walk on the Bar Island path. You know what? At least we got a taste of what is possible here, and we got to add yet another sticker to our map. Next time, we will probably allocate a whole week just to Maine, as I had originally intended. On the next video, we will explore Boston, Massachusetts, and we will see the Plymouth Rock and go to Providence, Rhode Island for this event they have called Water Fire. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road. Welcome to New Hampshire.